Okay, just while we're waiting to go live, this is a very special episode. Um, this is not the Vegan Stephen podcast, but I'm going to say it is for the next few seconds. Okay. Vegan, Vegan Stephen podcast, a party of podcast, Vegan Stephen's fictional character, all guests are allegedly fictional characters, all characters in this. F- you get the idea. Alright, listen, this is the create now this is a hundred free hours of music lessons i have here in the studio uh the gorgeous the magnificent the infamous um dr boogie very infamous infamous yeah and uh he's he's here and he's going to be showing us in the guitar course we are we're touching on a basic uh, one four five chords, which are the key to pop songs and blues and all those good bands you like, like Led Zeppelin and Doctor Boogie. will mention some more. Um, so you need your A, D, and E chords. You need you know your musical alphabet. You need to know your blues form. And we have all a lot of the basic chords here in the in the sheet on piano. This this is kind of focused on piano, but I think it's very uh, it's very beneficial. Uh, just to get a different perspective on music from from someone else. I'm more of an emotional, uh, self-taughty kind of person, and this lad is obviously is very um, a great emotional intelligence as well. But he's been through the classical grades. He's won gold medals. He can also do it by the book if he needs to. Yeah, and he knows how to read sheet music and all that great stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up now. Uh, Doctor Boogie is gonna give you blow your minds with. Uh, Stuff about the, the tonic one four five uh, basic rhythm. No matter if you're eight years old and never played an instrument before, or whether you're ten years old, uh, and so on. There mu- yeah. So listen, this lad's taken over. Uh, this is create now. This is the third episode we've had on Doctor Boogie just talking about music. All right. Well, get yourself comfortable. We are going to boogie. Okie dokie, so just following on from Big and Stephen, the man himself, yeah. we are going to talk about the A major chord, the D major chord and the E major chord. Now I want everyone to think of something beginning with A that's personal to you. It could be an ant, it could be ape shit, it could be anything like that. Alright. Um, D for dipshit maybe, mm-hmm. um, E for... Um, ecstasy, I don't know, anything okay. like that. Whatever you're into. Yeah, anything, anything fucking goes. Um, <laughs> that fucking throat and it's been fucking fucked up earlier. Some yeah. elephant came along and fucked that up. So E for elephant. Yeah. Um. So starting with uh, just a quickly, just a quick reference. I don't know if you want that on your lap or not, Doctor Boogie. I'm just gonna hold the guitar just because I like it's putting on my head. So I like chilling. I think it's first things first is let's before I go into the mats and all the that usual shite behind it, let's try and see what they sound like. So let's play an A, just so you just kind of get it into your there's your A, and then this is your D. So this is the ingredients. This is not the the set the cooking yet. We're gonna just get the ingredients before we cook. This is D, and this is E. So that again, A, these are all major chords, real, real, especially for like blues, if you went into blues, this kind of stuff, very popular chord progressions, A, major, D major, and last but not least, E major. Okay, don't worry about where my hand positions or anything like that, it's just, I just want you to hear what it sounds like, A, D, E. So again, I'll just do a quick round of one, two, three, four, a one, a two, a hey, a four, a one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, to E, to, to D, to A, to E. And I'm gonna call them at this A, two, three, four, and A, two, three, four, and D, two, three, four, and A, two, three, four. E two three four D two three four A two three four one D e. and then you just go round again and it repeats 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 till you're dead like basically yeah. okay uh, oh, oh. now it's around thirty two times uh, <coughs> sorry twelve bar is around thirty two times an average do so J- uh, typical yeah typical. I, I'm I'm trying this Doctor Boogie's doing an amazing job and I hope he can keep on track after I I try to pull mm. him off track I hope he's gonna pull Here me back go. on, on track could you list off um 
because if someone learns uh, the blues on acoustic guitar that opens up a world for them they can possibly play double bass bass guitar uh, banjo all sorts of stringed instruments it really just opens up a world mm. uh, could you mention some instruments which use the keyboard which you're opening up a whole world off the top of my head I'm thinking harpsichord classical piano well it depends it's obviously there's people. lots I mean it depends what kind of music you're into if you're like into like early classical or baroque which is it's a bit a period before classical but I'll say clearly early classical um, uh, harpsichord an absolute must but um, for just general in terms of pianos you can use pianos electric pianos but you, here you got you got electric pianos you have all these different sounds that you can use you can use organ an organ for blues is an absolute brilliant and you can get that on an, uh, a digital piano you've got lots of or different organ sounds and that goes extremely well in that, this kind of stuff that we're doing and it fits into probably nearly every genre of music using an organ um, got long sustained sounds that real kind of it kind of originated like blues originated from that kind of gospel sound like you don't have to be religious or anything but you got that real kind of organ long sustained organ sound and organs they and notes they use organs in these things to bring out the emotion behind it I mean it, this music is quite sensitive I mean all, most music is except for like the likes of modern Str Stravinsky where it's discordant but real organ stuff I mean you can use piano you can use organ and I think those two for this type would be just absolutely bang on mm. organ piano you can even have settings where you can use a bit for a piano a bit for the organ you can go back and forth and change I mean mm. I think and there's so many different types an electric piano a Fender Rhodes oh my god if you find that mm. setting that's that hard to describe it's a like an electric piano but it's a got a very very different taste to it you really need to kind of hear it but it's mm. um it's very very good for jazz easily listening blues it fits brilliantly into these genres so um, if I could give you three things a piano organ and a Fender Rhodes lovely and um, you can use these this is just a cheap piano uh, we got from a shop for about 50 euro or something and you can just see just uh, it triggers samples that kind of sound like, like a little bit like other instruments. We got piano, organ, as Tanya was talking about. You can trigger a sound that sounds a little bit like a bass guitar, strings, uh, flute. Mm. Uh, you can do what was it, alto sax, reed instruments, and percussion. All doing this one. Sorry there. Well, that's brilliant. And uh, now, hopefully, Doctor Boo is going to drag my my talk. Uh, I'm just trying to show you how relevant this is. Absolutely. I mean, it's all relevant. I mean, if you wanted to practice chords, for example, why not get an organ sound? Can I actually try yeah, to just put press notes? that once? No, you yeah. have it now. You have it. Oh. Is that an organ? Yeah, it's meant to be. <laughs> so that's like a harmonium or uh, yeah, and it has a wide range. Of, uh, Almost like playing. Well, that's kind of that's your plan, but that's that's the idea. That's mm. the idea. Well, we have different varieties here. So, I'll leave that. This is yeah. I like that. This is one organ that would be absolutely brilliant. Just to give you an example, of what you can do with this. I mean, just listen to this. is simple. Just just literally play a few notes. I got a song for you, uh, an example. I'd rather go blind by Etta G James. So, so we it was over. It's going to go into different chords. So you can do, or you can do real slow blues. Blues is one of those things you can do slow, middle, fast. It's very moody, but it fits into every. Kind of tempo not many genres of music do that mm. but you can do the same like for example some songs if you play the same song at a different speed it's not it's going to sound shit yeah but if you play the same song in a blues format it's going to sound great slow mill and fast it doesn't really matter at all and there's no such thing as making mistakes when you're doing with, within a certain parameters you can do whatever the fuck you want basically yeah so digging into the chords we're going to start with a the big ass chords so, kick ass with A. Ladies! Right, everyone look at the black keys. Do not look at the white keys. They don't exist for now. Look right. at the black That's keys. That's on your, if you're looking at this on uh, on the video, it's it's on the screen there. I'm, I'm just pointing to it. It's the image in the middle. So, the, it's your, you see there's three, and then there's a little bit of a gap, and there's sets of two. And you see there's a repeating pattern of three, two, three, two, and on and on and on, mm. alternating between three and two. So what we want to do is find a chord the best way. We use the black keys to help us around here. I use, it's like the lost and found. So 
first of all is A. So we're gonna look for I'm gonna look for the bottom note which is A here. Look at the three black keys, look at the one on the very right of the three, and just go down to your left. There's your A there. And there's your now the next the next note up is look for the two black keys, look for the one on the left, this is called C sharp. And now finally, for the one on the right, look for the two black keys. Again, the same two black keys that Ron, don't go anywhere else, or else I'm gonna come to your house and basically t take all your food. Um, yeah, go all to, the sweets. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I could do with a few, so you, bet you, have to, you have to stay where you are, otherwise I'm coming over. And then go to the, this one. This is E on the right. The two black keys, there's the elephant. There's a big ass elephant. So there's your A. C sharp A is beside the three back keys in the in just to the left here. What what do you mean a big ass element? I'm just trying to get your your reference. Oh, this the A oh, for a. ass and E for elephant. Ah, oh, so yeah, just spelling out the names. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, Don't worry about the big, big ass elephant. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, big the ass elephant. Helps, yeah. And this is your C. C sharp. C sharp. We're looking sharp here. Mm. We're all looking sharp. Thanks to that big ass elephant. We're sharp. You see? C sharp. There's your A there. Mm. On to the next one. Move, keep your hands where they are. Go into the middle of the two back keys here, the two ones. Put your thumb there, place, press D. Now the next one up there is your three back keys. Going this way, D to, to your right, to your right. Look at the screen again, look at the two and three. See so you know the bottom note is on the two. Just so you know, the top is up, it's to your right, bottom is to your left. So if I say go up, just go to your right. If I say go down, go to your left. Yeah, same on guitar. Exactly. Uh, they're all the same. What was it? Was that why we write from left to right? Because we're always looking forward to something. We're looking Ooh. up. That's, a, that's could be something. D, go to your right, go to the three black keys, go to the first one on the very left, go down to the one, lad down to the one on the left. There's your two black keys. Finally, now this one, this is the big, this is the ass we got at the top. It's no longer at the bottom, the ass is at the top. A, D, F sharp, A. So that's your second chord. So just to recap very quickly, A, S, again, the big, the ass is on the bottom, ass is, get to the bottom of it. Yes. Ass, C sharp in the, the two black keys on the left and the elephant to the right. Oh, this is the dog, this is the, some, whatever it is. This is the elephant, the E for the elephant. Now, to find your way quickly, see that C sharp? Go to your F sharp quickly, you're in position. D, donkeys, don't give the donkeys about this. Go, fuck the sharp, F sharp, <laughs> fuck that. It's, fuck that in the ass. Jeepers. Okay, now, Mr. Elephant, around the next one. E. Yeah. So this is for the E chord. This is the last chord that in this uh, blues um, tutorial. Yeah. E for elephant. G for giraffe. What a long fucking face. G sharp because he's tall. He's tall. He's sharp. He's going up. You have to go up. Middle of the two back keys. And you got B for that bitch. Motherfucking bitch. Three back keys. You got your B to the right. And that's all you need. So A. Look for the C sharp in the middle. D, look for the fucker in, in the middle, F sharp. And for E, look for the giraffe. Mm. Those black keys will help me find creep. I'm not looking at the white keys, I don't give a fuck about them. I only give a fuck about the black keys. That's mad. It's amazing. That makes you, so much more sense. It, it just helps you find your way around because all the white keys look exactly the same, but the black keys don't. You can see a different pattern. The white keys, is just if I ripped off these... Uh, black keys, you just see a bunch of white keys, no one knows where the fuck they are. Yeah. That's why they laid the piano in such a way, so you can find your way, not only is it comfortable for your fingering, but you can find your way around. I never in my life, up to this day, when I'm playing fast, I never, almost never look at the white keys at all. No. I just look at the black keys, because I know, where, once I know where the the C sharp is, I just, I just know where D is in the middle, for example. I just look for these two, I don't look for the D, I look for these guys, and I just trust that D is in the middle. That kind of thing. So use your black keys to you. Your black keys are there to help you. They're not just for playing. They're for your to to kind of um, make love to you if you're ever feeling down or you're struggling along. Mm. Go to the black keys and give them a bit of TLC and you'd yeah. be grand. C sharp. Thank you, hero. F sharp. Fucker. Yeah. That giraffe is a legend. I 
That's your explanation. So that's uh, that's yeah. I think we're wrapping up, are we? Maybe. Well, but we'll do a quick round. We'll, so and just uh, as I, said, I keep trying to pull Doctor Boogie away what? from what he's doing, and he just keeps like it's like a constant fight here. Uh, and <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, for the musical alphabet, there's two things that don't exist. And do you have any rhymes written to help people remember? For example, there's no such thing as E sharp or B sharp. Do you have anything? Because that really just I sometimes when I'm sharp. teaching, I'm just saying I know it makes no sense, but there's no such thing as these things. Do you have anything that help helps you or help other people understand? Actually, there is such thing as E sharp and B sharp. Call F and C. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> it's funny, but do you know all the black notes have two names, F sharp and G sharp. You can see that in the diagram there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, F sharp and G sharp. The definition of a sharp is not a black note, if some people think. All it what? means is just a semitone to the right. Right. All, that's all it is. A sharp okay. is... But if you if we want to put... But maybe that's for a more... Kind of later on in the course, perhaps. But just for the E sharp, um, and there's no B sharp and there's E sharp. So... Let it be mm. B and E sharp. B sharp, which is the C, E sharp is the F. There's no black keys, there's no official sharp mm. as you like. So just think of the song, the Beatles. Let it be B yeah. sharp, E sharp, gone. E, e. Because so it's not good. there, let it yeah. be. Let it, uh, that's let really it be. Good. Everything makes so much more sense. Like when you look at the key, it's so obvious that there's no sharps there because there's no black key. And you're saying, oh, when you look at the black keys, all this stuff. I'm just like, why? Why did no one tell me this years ago? And you're finally after like, man, I thought I was here for you guys to to teach you guys. I was some expert. And yeah, well, but, honest, but well, meanwhile, I'm, 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 just coming lads, I'm just coming off the caravan underneath the caravan, just like fucking having a wee bit of fucking stuff, playing playing with the. Uh, Broken piano, some new fucking caravan, yeah, fucking stoned and all that, you know. That's it, just uh, another day. I'm uh, in the fucking so, office. <laughs> yeah. So, before I, I went off talking about music alphabet, you said you were going to go around the, the beat one more time. Is there anything else you want to. I, I think, think we do for time. I think uh, oh, geez, we're only 17 minutes in. Shit. Well, I thought we were. Alright, first sure, we'll see how much. Uh, okay, we'll not, see what happens. I'm okay at the moment. So a I'll go through uh, now this is when you get comfortable with this um now this is the ingredients I haven't so once have you spend a long time or however long it takes just to go around the ingredients so remember again C sharp in the middle the black key D F sharp in the middle G and your G sharp in the middle if in the case and I think I I know what you're on to if you're in a position where you were looking for a note and you couldn't you can't rely on the two black keys. Just go to either one of the sharps either side for your comfort. So mm -hmm. this is your safety net. There's all, they're never too far away to your nearest ones. Go to your nearest one. Go to your nearest uh, post office. Yeah. They're in there. They're in there. Talk to a strain. No, don't talk to a strain. Oh, just talk, oh, to do. A, talk to an adult. When, I'll get done. You yeah. keep going. I was trying to make no, a I was joke. Just, I was talking out. to the aliens. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go to your nearest post office. Counter number F sharp. Mm -hmm. And counter D sharp. Oh, whatever the fuck they are. D, D, F sharp, G sharp. So C sharp is for A, C, uh, F sharp is for D, and G sharp is for E chords. Are you listing off major thirds or? No, just pure major chords. Sorry, major major chords, major chords. You're going you're going over the notes that are in the major chords. Yeah, well, okay, I'm no, going to going. yeah, I'm now. going for the major. Th I'm going for the central notes in the major mm. chords. The these are going to dictate as to what the chords are. So C sharp mm. is the central note of A major, is what makes it. What's like dominant, uh, the root, and was it subdominance? Is the fourth? Oh, yeah. So, so what's all that about? If you think of a. We all do you know, like a major scale. In, in relation to A, D, and E. Yeah. yeah. So the, do the dominant is the E. The dominant. Okay, so that's the fifth. The fifth is the dominant. Right. The subdominant is the fourth, it's the one just before that. I'll go through them all actually. So the A is the tonic. So instead of saying Do, Re, Mi, Fa, we're replacing the the letters, do, the names Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, R, T, Do. We're just re literally replacing all those uh, words with the following. Hmm. The uh, Do is the tonic. Okay. Re is the supertonic, which is the second. I'm already lost. But keep going. <laughs> <laughs> A to tonic. I'll just I'll call them out. Yeah. Tonic, supertonic, medium. Subdominant. I want a t shirt that says supertonic. I'm just saying that now. <laughs> I would wear that t shirt. You keep going. <laughs> I want super GMT. Fuck that. Yeah, what's GMT? 
Gin and tonic. Ah, yeah. Super gin and tonic, fuck it. So we got tonic, which is one. Two is the super tonic. Three is the medium. Four is the subdominant. Five is the dominant. Six is the submedium. Seventh is the leading note or the leading chord, whatever you like to call it. And eight is the octave or back to the tonic. Sir, I've got a question. I've got a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's in the major scale, right? It's yeah, it's for the major scale. Um, but if it was like a different scale, like you know those weird ones like harmonic minor and shit. Things like that. Would they be would it would those things still be called that even if you know their position was changed up and down semitone depending on the scale? Well the the bottom note of the minor scale wouldn't be the tonic. Okay. Well what the would it top, be? the tonic is always the bottom note of a major scale. So the because it major so it'd be the it'd be the six, so it'd be the relative minor or something. Or absolutely, a relative what, what minor. What would that be called? That what's the relative minor called? So it'd be I think the bottom one. So let's say I'm going to go down to this one. So okay, well, what's up? Just we'll stay with A major, A B C D E F. Just the six ones is the sub median or la. Jesus Christ! Oh la. Okay, I can remember la. la. From yeah, we'll say la. We'll stick. Right. We'll stick with the la. So if you started the F sharp minor, you're starting on la. T, Do, Re, Right. Re. It's all coming back to me. So the la, so the, you start on the La for the minor. Yeah. So, because the Do is the parent, the relative major, minor, the major is the parent, the minor is the child. Gotcha. Yeah. So, so that's why, that, that's why the tonic is the ultimate one. It's the lead, it's the boss. Yeah. Tonic is the boss, number one. And he's at the end, number eight. He's letting you know you're not going fucking anywhere. Yeah. So this is tonic. Um, this is La. It's the one and the eight, both the tonic. Because yeah. they both have yeah. the same note. But yeah, the, have the, it's not like tonic plus one or something. They don't you can call it tonic octave. Tonic octave. Okay. Depending okay. on where. If you want to yeah. think it at the top, but then that can start again and go on right, right. to do more. And then it's just a tonic octave. Then it's the uh, super tonic and the whole thing repeats. It repeats itself again and again. Mm, same circular. thing. That's yeah. Keep talking about. In it and, oh, I got some. Oh yeah. On f later on, I'd love to go into a circle of fifths and fourths. How everything is in man. Yeah, sure. Well, I, is that you can you explain in a simple way that won't blow people's minds? Because they're only they've only been doing this basic tone deaf course for I think we're only like. Well, eight this or kind ten of stuff is in. a little bit more. I don't expect them to kind of know, but it's just involves a little bit of counting. I think we'll think we can handle that. I can only count to four because I'm a drummer, but <laughs> we'll we'll see what happens. So. um so this is just kind of live up. I don't 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 have to go and practice this unless you want to um, basically um, make me sad or anything like that. No, I'm joking. Right. No, I'm not joking. I'm sitting down. <laughs> um, so um, circle of fits is basically you start and see when I, I'm going to count up five keys. One, two, three, four, five. Now that fifth note becomes one of the Hang next. On. You only count up white keys. What's going on there? Or do you include the black keys? It's going to eventually end up on the black keys. It's going to go through 12 different notes and we're going to end up back at the same oh my notes. Oh god. But I, I I'm already feeling dizzy. I think That's we should change that. Keep I don't going, know if this would be a good idea for this. Well, do you know, it, should, it can't do any harm. Yeah, they, fuck they, it. This is the kind of thing they're going to hear like 20 times then by the, by the 50th time that I go, I get it. Because I still don't get this. So. Oh yeah. Well, I get it a little bit. Mm. Oh, so I like, was that, I like to, was that, that kind of blues or what? Very, very blues. Or you could do it. Hmm. I'm better at C. Well, anyway, but... but, but wait circle for, of fifths. Now, circle of fifths. Fifth, circle of fifths. Now, uh, the, um, a circle, as you know, is just a loop. Anyone know the M25 in England? You know, when you go road? on that... It's the, like the motorway. It's the circular motorway that goes on forever because it's just a loop. Mm. It's just a circle. Even if you... You crazy shit in space. Every when time slows down near the speed of light, everything curves. Everything is a spiral, ultimately. Yeah. That's why the Earth is round. Anyway, back to the circle. <laughs> <laughs> back to the circle of fits. Music is part of all of this all right. because of all the different frequencies. C one, two, three, four, five. Now here's I got magic wand, which is got a lighter. I've got a magic wand too. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to press on one, every time the light, when I'm going to press the key, when I press this down, when you see this, it five becomes one. Can I type it? Oh, I should keep going. You're professional, you're professional. So, number one, one, C. Now count. One, two, three, four, five. Stop on one. Yeah. This is now one. One, two, three. This is the first five notes of the major scale. Five. Yeah. One. Now I'm gonna start in another day. It doesn't make a difference. Oh, hang on. Really. You to... oh, okay, I understand. Because I'm gonna add the keys. <laughs> this is one, one, two, three, 
really fall, don't worry about that. That's that because that's it, this is the major campaign, the first do re mi fa oh, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I understand. Okay. Yeah, it's so all major playing, scales. Yeah, it's all that's major. Fine. So okay. just do, do re mi fa so, so becomes do. So yeah. what? So do. Yeah. Um. Uh, do re mi fa so. This is going to go to do. Yeah. Do re mi fa so. Do. And I'm going to go to another E because I'm going to run out of. E major scale. Yeah, E major. Do. Do re mi fa so. Now I'm going to go on B major. Now watch oh, what Jesus. happens. Do re mi fa. Now I'm finally on the black note because that's the fifth note of B major scale. Gotcha. Now the fifth note of B F sharp G flat major whatever don't know the name one two three four five do re mi fa so let's call it do re mi fa so do re mi fa so this now becomes do. That's the, the C, sharp. C sharp yeah. Nice one. So do re mi fa so which mm -hmm. is G sharp do. Nice. Um, do re mi fa so D sharp. Yeah. Back to do. I'm going to go to this one because I'm going to run out of space. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Lovely. This becomes do. Yeah. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Oh, what's going to happen next? What's this? Do, re, mi, fa. Back to do. Back to the start. To start yeah. Shit. Now, that's why the fifth note of the scale is called the dominant because it can turn into the tonic and keep the circle flowing. Oh, can you say that again one more time slowly? Yeah. I, I, that's so no, no, not, not that, just that sentence. The, oh, yeah, so that's why the dominant note can become the tonic note of the next scale. That's why it's a dominant, because it can change into the tonic of another scale, and that it keeps the circle flowing. And the dominant is the fifth. Yes, and it becomes one, because five mm. turns into one, and it's the only note that can do that for the fifth. That's why it's the dominant, because it goes forward in the circle. It, can, it, it keeps the circle loop going. Yeah. So five and one are essentially the same thing. Oh my god. So that's the <laughs> circle. Fits. That's frequency, it's funny. Yeah. And you just oh go around. Oh my Jesus. So that's, that's yeah, so before I bought you, music theory is, is like, I thought algebra was crazy, but yeah. I still prefer music theory to algebra. Yeah. But uh, this is similar. If you think I'm replacing do, re, mi, fa, so, Tonic, supertonic, it's the same thing. Like it could be replacing it with one, two, three, four, five, or anything, whatever it is. Mm. It's a bit lot like algebra. You're replacing stuff, but these ridiculous formulas come into it. Is algebra a thing where it's like x plus y equals yeah. uh, your yeah. y or x y has left you? Yeah. <laughs> or like that. I, oh yeah, I don't know why the fuck that happened. Yeah, and you need to find out what y is and something like yeah. you never, you never bother a ring or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> why? Because uh, it was just a double. You, you know, W, W fucked up. Oh, it's the alphabet jokes again. Oh, yeah, fuck uh, that. Uh, I mean, alphabet, that would be a crap joke anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's the circle of fits. That's the circle. Everything is, or some people call it the cycle of fits. Everything goes mm. round and round and round back to the same place. Mm. There's loads of images people can find on the internet about that. It's one of the first things you're taught in music theory ish. Well, not ish. one of the first ish. things. Ish. But ish. It's ish. in the top. It might, it's on the course somewhere, generally. It's the ultimate music theory. And then... It will never end. Is the cycle of fourths the same thing but descending or is that... Is it, it's is the same it thing, kind of going backwards. Con so it's not the same thing? Going it backwards. is the same it thing. It is the same thing but it's, going backwards. It's just one, two... You just go on four notes up to the sub-dominant, which is the fourth note of the scale. So you only, go the oh, you only go up four notes instead yeah. of five? Yeah, guess That's what? Grand. Yes, and the circle. But guess what? I got one more thing to show you. Right. This is the last fucking thing I'll find. Oh shit! C to G is one, two, three, four, five. Now watch what happens if I play G to C. One, two, three, four. So it's a fourth. Yeah, it's a fourth. So C, if you go from C to G, it's a fifth. Mm -hmm. But if you go from G to C, it's only a fourth. <sighs> this way. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. So I got C, D, E, F. See the way that's four? One, two, three, four. Yeah. If you yeah. If I yeah. If you descend down the cycle of fifth, is it still the cycle of fifth? Yeah, because I'm one, Even two, three, three, four, five. Because oh, I'm just going back the way. Christ. So yeah, this is, it's fucking I'm, cli I'm clinging on to music theory for so, like, it's <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm up dropping the fucking fits, I'm telling yeah. the fists to fuck off. Ugh. Now instead of playing it backwards, I'm just going back the way I came basically. Yeah. However, I could do it a bit differently. It's all about perspective. It's like the shortcut. This is the reverse engineering mm, way of doing favorite, it. One of my favourite turns in life. I've plagiarised your <laughs> word anyway. One, two, three, four. Instead of going backwards, why not take a shortcut through time and go one, two, three, four? 
bit of time travel there. Mm. Um, so, remember what I did at back with C, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C, F, B flat. Now, watch what happens when I do this in fourth. 1, 2, 3, C, F, 1, 2, 3, B flat. Same mm. notes, just slightly less. I took a quicker route by going up. There's not a single up or down, it's all an illusion. Oh my fuck. In terms of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, that was deep, that was deep. Uh, it's like in space, like which way is up when you're up there? Nowhere. Nowhere. Man, I, I'm not even sure if we can call this basic... Uh, we're bang on 30 minutes, so I think okay, there's yeah. any, anything you want to get off your chest in the last few seconds, we're already running over time. Um, so. Just let me know if your brains are... Anyway, that was intense. Right. So what do we call this episode? Like the musical well, after? Or? Um, bit of um, what about basic? Look at whatever it is, and then with a bit of bonus. 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 Bonus theory. blues. Bonus. Bonus. Well, it's not bonus blues, blues theory. No, just bonus. Bonus, bonus theory. Bonus theory. bonus theory. bonus theory. Okay, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's all we have bonus time theory, for. Yeah. Goodbye. You were. Bye bye. You were amazing. Oh yeah. And I shall let well, you know.